so it's early morning, I have a cold, my name is Scroll, and this is my let's play of Dragon Age 2. This is uh, the final boss fight coming up. Uh, it's going to be two more videos, this one and another one, and then I'm done with this let's play. Um, <clears throat> before I start, I would like to comment on something that's going to happen, and that is uh, Meredith going batshit insane um, and Cullen. Uh, Cullen happens to be one of my absolute favorite characters in the Dragon Age universe. Uh, I've been talking about this a bit uh, before and the reason for this is because you, you can follow this character during so many years and his development, his personal development so in Dragon Age Origins we start off by meeting him uh, in the Mage Origin and he's um, not a new recruit but he's just become a Templar. Um, we don't know his background, Has he was he given to the Chantry as a child etc. Uh, we'll find that out in Dragon Age Inquisition what his background is. But he's sympathetic to the mages and he's a bit worried that he was chosen to be the one to cut down the hero of Ferelden if they failed their harrowing. Uh, at the same time, uh, if you don't play the mage origin, you meet him again at, during the Broken Circle when he's the only Templar that has survived uh, the blood mages and he's been held prisoner and tortured for uh, days and weeks and so as you can understand his lenience uh, towards the mages is just ripped out of him and he is on the brink of going insane. Then uh, what happens is that he gets sent to Kirkwall because his view on the mages don't really fit uh, the uh, Ferelden Circle's views any longer. And so he meets Meredith here and uh, he climbs the ranks pretty quickly to become a uh, knight captain. Uh, and if it was me, uh, I can imagine him looking up to Meredith, who trains him, takes him under her, her wings, gives him um, all this uh, really great career opportunity. And uh, I don't think he's, when you're a knight captain, you don't really go out on the streets and fight majors, it's administrative, you train other Templars, etc. So I think he's, he kind of um, misses a lot of information of what's going on and that, you know, in the Templar order. Uh, also when people like Thrask are accusing Murdis of being insane, he stands up um, against them and defends her. Though if you talk to him, and I've, I've talked about this before, if you talk to him during your gameplay, he will actually start voicing his concerns. He says things like, I'm not sure that Meredith and the Order are, um, you know, they're no longer one and the same. So he has his doubts, and I think a lot of people miss this. Uh, and there are two reasons for that. One, because they don't go talk to him in the gallows and they don't listen to his ambience conversation. The ambience is what he says if you click on him and you don't get a dialogue. Uh, also, uh, if you choose him to side with the mages, you never see him as he does when you side with the Templars. You see, see him defend mages and he points out to Meredith that, you know, the, we don't have to kill all these mages. Um, we, during the annulment of the circle, uh, we saved many mages in Ferelden. And she confronts him and asks, So, you know, Cullen, what are you suggesting? Will you be the one that 
stands watch of these mages to make sure they're not uh, blood mages and he responds with yes uh, actually that's what I think being a Templar is all about um, also what's going to happen we, when we walk out of here because we're a group and we're trying to walk out of this circle right now uh, she wants to kill us and Cullen uh, I think that the reason why he finally uh, comes to terms with that she's insane is that she's going to kill civilians instead of imprisoning them um, she's about to kill them and that's like the final straw for him uh, and it's just a fantastic scene when he says you have to go through me uh, you'll be, be seeing that that's really all I want to say uh, also we can expect Warwick to drop a one liner that's a really nice one liner uh, so let's do this I just spent six minutes talking <laughs> and here we are champion at long last you're a monster finally I imagine you've wanted to be rid of me for some time I bear you no ill will you've done this to yourself you were never part of this circle and I tolerated that. But in defending them, you've chosen to share their fate. Knight Commander, I thought we intended to arrest the Champion. You will do as I command, Cullen. No. I defended you when Thrask started whispering you were mad. But this is too far. I will not allow insubordination. We must stay true to our path. Andraste's dimpled butt cheeks. <laughs> you recognize it, do you not? Your lyrium, taken from the deep roads. The dwarf charged a great deal for his prize. Turning the idol into a fancy sword won't save you. All of you! I want him dead! Enough! This is not what the Order stands for. Knight Commander, step down. I relieve you of your command. My own Knight Captain falls prey to the influence of blood magic. You all have. You're all weak. Allowing the mages to control your minds. To turn you against me. But I don't need any of you. I will protect this city myself. You'll have to go through me. Mm. Idiot boy. Just like all the others. She's lost it. Just like Bartrand. Blessed are those who stand before the corrupt and the wicked. And do not falter! Right. Uh, so there are some waves... Um during this fight, we start off having Cullen on our side. Uh, can never actually see how much life he has, but there'll be some people that drop in and join us. So I'll point them out as we continue fighting. The first time I did this fight, I didn't notice until like the end that it was like, what's this person doing here? But I'll, I'll point it out. Um, right, uh, Warwick. You should go like over here, Isabella, you should go like over here for the time being and I'll just slap this and I'll need Let's to hope this works. top up. No, what's going on? Why can't I access my... Oh, my... All my mana is drained, of course. Because she's a mana drainer! Come on! Oh, I'm still in. Phew. Come on, you can do it. Oh, 
Oh, I can't go back now. Um, oh, actually, summon dog. <clears throat> Not because I think I need him, but. And this one, 20 minutes. It should hold until the end. So I'm just gonna do this. Um, gonna slap a heel on Isabella. Maker, your servant begs you for the strength to defeat this evil. Spreading the red lyrium around, right? And there's Fenris, he just arrived. Here we go. Uh, so we have Carver there, Fenris here. And Cullen is somewhere over there, hanging out. Um, right. So. Guardian's gonna... is about to drop, I think. There we go, and the next one. Maybe I should place a little nice, just right about there. No? Oh, we have to fight her first. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. Uh, we need to keep out of her range. Yeah, because of that. <laughs> um, there we go. two uh, Mythos favors, so this, you know, this one better count. Um, I can't resurrect myself until she's out of there. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. Use this. Just grab anything. All right. Um, no, I can use it. There we go. Now the statue, right? Yeah, okay. So, just gonna drop like r right there. Hmm. 
the slave statues. Let's see how many there are. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six on every side, so 12 slaves. And then we have these. One, one, two, three, four. And uh, four here, that's eight. So 20 slave statues. And then I guess it's also, um, not these, but, oh yeah, we have these as well. One, two, three. Do we have anything else? Oh, who's standing there? Oh, that's Donick. He's not apparently coming through the gates. Stupid bug. So here we go, the first slave statues are dropping down. And I think we need to move in here, both you and I, for now. So it's really nice seeing them drop down actually. Um, come on. The other ones? Just trying to see around the corners. So, um... I would really like you to... Concentrate on this one. Oh, health potion. Good girl. I'll just heal you then. Come on, health potion. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! I think I need to deal with these ones. Oh, I really need to deal with these ones. Run away! Is he down? Good. Okay, we have slaves coming in from this way as well. Oh, and murders. Okay. Warwick, um, you better go in here. I'm, I'm really hoping the sleigh won't drop right now. Evelyn, you really need to go tank her. Like, really, really need to go tank her. Nobody behind me yet. Okay, behind you. Just need to keep an eye on these. Because um, they'll drop before they show that they're dropped on the map. So maybe run you there. So we have a bunch of slaves that were here. Um, <coughs> how many are they? That's one. Oh look. Oh look, Isabella's dead. I wonder how long she's been dead. So we have uh, Carver, Fenris, Cullen. That's all we have right now. Okay. Uh, 
run away. And heal. And pot. And you can't do that. There we go. Top yourself up, everybody. Um, so these statues over here. I'm just gonna slap this here. I keep forgetting that I have this new thing. Okay, and here comes the slave for you. And I guess this one is about to drop. need to help work with this one. Come on Isabella, can you not pot yet? Actually I don't want you there. You go help us with this one. Do twin two. Twin things. You you are not not enough. Enough. <laughs> the tonic is still not coming in. Yeah. Can you run away until you can heal? So I have like what? Murders and three slave statues. And I don't want to go in there. many dropping down from the sides. Um, <clears throat> I think I'll need to let these go. Where's work? Deal with this one. Remember in what order they're coming down, but there we go. And just here's perfect. Oh, shit, didn't even see that one. to the corner <laughs> I 
I'll join you. Oh, no, I don't. I'll go right back here. And... Right, um, I'm gonna make a cut here, be right 